Good morning and welcome. It is Sunday the 24th of July. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. Coming up today, I'm going to try and keep it nice and brief for a Sunday. Um, I've got one bet, £5 uh, is all it is coming up today. Before we do that, we'll do the review of yesterday and have a quick word on the golf. So, yesterday, uh, it was a good day. Uh, <laughs> it was... <laughs> It was such a tease though. I mean, there were so many bets going off where it, just one more horse placing or winning would have made a huge difference. But um, not, we're not going to knock a profit. Uh, we, we, we've we've done all right this week. And uh, I think it's, four, well, I think it's four, four Saturdays in a row we've made a profit, which is nice. Um, but uh, yeah, it, I mean, it, it, you can leave very frustrated because there was enough pieces, uh, pieces of the puzzle to put it together yesterday. But uh, we weren't quite there. So let's spin through. Um, first leg, so the 205 Leone Stream got done on the line uh, at 16 SP, 18 in the morning. And then we went on the three o'clock um, documenting 50 to one in the morning. It, it was 66s in places. I'm hoping some of you got 66s. So um, if that is the case, then uh, that was three three videos in a row where we had a horse that uh, had either was 66 to one or um, it drifted to 66 to one and back again in, in, uh, in the day. I didn't say it was my value horse. It wasn't like the other two, but it was the biggest price. So uh, yeah, on a nice little little trio. But unfortunately, I got no nothing near to sixty six to one today. So uh, we'll just have to have to work with what we've got. But that did place. So there was a place double on that, which you know it, it doesn't look like very much, but it you know paid ten pound. So depending on if you've got sixty sixes, it would have been even more than that. Um, so it's a decent return off that. Um, and then better to. Started off, Leo Stream placed, Abarama Goal placed for about three different bookies and that was the only one that was slightly bookie dependent. It didn't make a massive difference to profit and loss though. Uh, and then the next two didn't. So two start off, two place doubles and nothing. This one, uh, not very exciting. It was only Mr. Marv loss um, that placed, uh, I think it was second at 11 to 12 to 1. So just had it on its own as a place single. Then in bet... Four, again, we just had one place single, so just be fair, it was the only one that was placed. Uh, the others weren't, so it wasn't much back on that one. Bet five was one that started off brilliantly. So we, um, I got a 15p rule uh, four, but it was backed into six to one. Um, so clearly a lot of money came for it. And then we couldn't get anything else with it. Rock Dandy was one out of the places, at least would have given it a nice double, but... Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> start off with a 28 to 1 winner on paper and then get nothing. Um, that's a bit you got in, but them's the breaks sometimes. Um, and you can smile about it when you've come up and won overall anyway. Um, three o'clock documented. So we started off with a 50 to 1 place, a 12 to 1 winner, all looking great this bet. And then neither of the next two could do anything. And then you're thinking, Callum... Why didn't you put Leodis Dream in with this bet? That would have been a, a much better or Zawir. I didn't. Just got to deal with it. Um, there were two singles on those as well. So if you did the singles, that, that was a helpful thing. Um, so documenting and Brawl Hill, uh, both back with singles. So that was bet six. And then bet seven, uh, big fat letdown. Uh, so nothing placed out of any of those six on that one. So that was a big letdown. <clears throat> and then finally bet eight. Started off, got the 12 to 1 winner, couldn't even get a place with it, uh, let alone another winner. So, yeah, so we had quite a few bets starting off well, but but didn't get there. So I got this 40 on, 49.70 back. As far as today goes, that is my bet for the day. Uh, no backups, no reserves. So if any of these turn out to be non-runners, then it would trim it down into a double. Um, so, and from a bookmaker perspective... Uh, most was well, no that's not true so uh first race sky of four second race sky of five third race sky of four the best alternative to that is four across the board at corals so if you haven't got a sky bet account coral is your best place to put this bet on today it's not often we say that but corals is a day for it's a day for corals if you've not got sky bet if you do with corals you will get the best price guaranteed so you've got your choice here if you've got both accounts Risk Desert Doctor hitting fifth place, um, put it on with Corals and you get best price, um, or put it with Sky, but you're guaranteed to get the place terms. Um, most of the others are kind of behind um, because they're offering some extra place and not others. I think it's Hills is the one that I would avoid today. 
um, for this bet if you can. Um, it's not a bad bet. I'd still put the bet on with Hills, but you are losing those extra places um, with Hills today. So Hills were great yesterday, not so good today. So we've got 155, you talks to Dubai Guest 16s, 245, uh, Chelmsford, uh, uh, Desert Doctor 18 to 1. So yeah, Dubai Guest, Desert Doctor, and then 515, Pontefract, Strox. Uh, I think that is 14 to 1. I've done it as 25p each way Trixie, and I've done 50p each way singles on all three. Um, so, uh, yeah, I could have just put more of it into the multiples, but I've, I've kind of kept it consistent with what we do on the channel for a, a Trixie bet like that, and then done it as additional singles, because those, for those prices, that was worth worth doing. So that is it. That's the one and only bet. And then on the golf, um, it, yesterday morning, <clears throat> it was looking great. The lucky 15, we had one top of their market and three placed. Um, and then uh, LaCroix uh, hit a treble bogey on the back nine, um, which made him pretty much toast to be honest because the, the French market's pretty competitive so as it stands in the lucky 15 we've got Callum Tarran just ahead in the top European market in the 3M and then uh, then we've got Kinholt and Bantario who, who are kind of in the mix but they needed a bit of work to do and then Lacroix looks a bit too far back but it's not completely unassailable so we'll, we'll see the lucky 15 yesterday morning was looking great and now it's looking less so um, as far as singles, if, if Bernard Langer puts in a shift today, we could be looking at him and him and Richie Ramsey um, in the cross tournament Trixie bet. Um, that looks that they look like our only real option, so we'll see how that goes. All right, I'm leaving it there for the day. Um, I've got to go and uh, go to a bowling party. Unfortunately, I'm not playing bowling. It's one of the little people, so uh, them's the breaks. Um, Okay, so that is me. I'll be back tomorrow. So Galway starts tomorrow. Goodwood starts Tuesday. So it will be quite a busy week. But I've, I've said on a previous video, I don't go massive into Goodwood um, because there's there's so many hard luck in running stories at Goodwood. Galway is a bit of a minefield because you've got to kind of work out who's been laid out for this and, and who's just taken advantage of a nice day out in the summer. Um, and also for those of you not familiar with Galway, it's, it's a mixed discipline meeting. So some races are jumps and some are flat. Um, it's quite rare, really. Not, you, don't, you don't get that often. So, so yeah, we'll be flicking between uh, jumps and flat throughout Galway. Um, but there's some nice handicaps. So each day there will be at least one or two, hopefully some three or maybe even four handicaps um, going on there. So uh, good, good stuff to look forward to. All right, and oh, last thing, I will be doing a video every day this week. So uh, I know in some days, as I said, in the summer holidays, um, I'm not going to be doing videos every day. This week, I will be for Galway Goodwood. Um, so there will be a video every day this week, and then the week after, um, there'll be some days I won't be. Okay, thanks very much. Enjoy your Sunday. I'll enjoy a bowling party, and I'll see you in the morning. Cheerio.